on the corner of Sherbourne and Wellesley, there was this building that my grandfather owned. And in that building was a convenience store called Shea Lee. And my parents ran the store and we lived in a flat above it, just like Kim's Convenience. So many of us in the Korean community, either our families had Korean uh, convenience stores or our relatives did. Both my parents were teachers from Korea originally uh, when they immigrated here and then they ended up having to run a convenience store because they couldn't speak the language. It's a family, right? Like when you're in a community, especially a small one, it's people go to that convenience store not because of pricing or they're like, oh, it's cheap there, but because the people who work there. They were uh, businesses that people could run as a couple because they're businesses that they could run regardless of language barriers. There's a Korean Business Association, so there was already an infrastructure and a network to help Korean families who were coming to Canada. My uncle lives in LA. Most of his customers are Hispanic, black, and a lot of them, not a lot of money. So they'd come to him and they'd say, can I borrow? Can I borrow 50 bucks to get me and my family to the next paycheck? And then the LA riots hit and the Korean convenience store, the, the liquor stores, they got hit hard. My uncle, he lived in Orange County, so he goes, he drives, he sees this happening. He gets there, he sees fire and, and he sees a bunch of people around his store and he goes there to, to like defend his business. When all of a sudden he sees his customers and they're in front of his store defending his store because to them the store wasn't just a place to steal the store was like their family in that instance the corner store was was adopted by the community as their business and their their means of surviving i thought it was a failure uh oh no they don't like it and then every the lights came on and everyone stood up to their feet to, to enormous applause 